The leadership of the National Assembly has lamented the high rate of servant lawmakers not returning in the night assembly. They blame this development for the lawmakers' inability to retain their legislative seats on the use of indirect mode of primary elections and the just concluded primaries across the country. Emmanuel A. Jenner completes the reports. Leadership of both chambers of the National Assembly lamented the imperfections in Nigeria's democratic process, especially at the just concluded primaries across the country. They identified the indirect primary, especially as it relates to the election of delegate, as a major impediment to genuine quest for democracy in the country. The Speaker, Right Honorable Femi Gbajabia Miller, and the former Deputy Senate President Ike Ikwerimadu made these observations at a commemorative lecture, Nigeria's Democratic Experience, Reflections on Leadership Recruitment and Democratic Institution Building. Bajabia Miller insisted that there is no substitute to direct primary in any democracy, pointing out the arrangement that allows few individuals to decide for the people is inimical to Nigeria's democracy. The system as its practice. Now let me make it clear. There's nothing wrong with indirect primaries. Absolutely nothing wrong. There's some countries that, 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 that practice that. But you see, all politics is local. It is actually how those delegates are produced that is a problem. And for as long as we are in a situation where a group of men, and perhaps maybe sometimes women, will sit in the, on a kitchen table and determine who, a who is a delegate and who is not a delegate, then we don't have a democracy. Former Deputy President of the Senate, Ike Ikwerimadu, shared similar views with the Speaker. He said the National Assembly must find a way to restrict political parties to direct primary for Nigeria's democracy to flourish. Today, not only does one paper get up rule in the emergence of candidates, turning delegates to overnight millionaires, because delegates are fewer. The non partition of certain delegates was fatal, was straight playing into the hands of the governors who colluded with greedy party leaders to manipulate the margins of three man and of five man of delegates as the case may be, and went ahead to weaponize them fully for their selfish political interests. At the end of the day, democracy and the people are at the receiving ends. And as the masses can only elect candidates through not at the various political parties. Earlier, Director General NILDS noted that despite making significant progress in five multi-party elections in 22 years and with improved electoral and legislative framework, the country's democracy continues to suffer in so many ways. He listed some of the impediments to democracy in the country as inducements of delegate, votes buying and the influence of money bags, as well as high cost of nomination fees by political parties. It is important at this juncture, therefore, to commend President Muhammad Buhari for his exemplary leadership and support for due process and transparency and the just concluded APC presidential primary election. In his Democracy Day speech, he further reiterated his commitment to free, fair, and transparent elections and an undertaking to hand over to the next president come. May 2023. The event was organized by the National Institute for Legislative and Democratic Studies in commemoration of the June 12. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.